Hey everyone, it's Jensen with Go419. This week I was really craving something light and fresh, so I stumbled upon Chicuto Kitchen in Perrysburg, which actually houses three locally owned Asian fusion restaurants under one roof. So I ordered one thing from each of them. As soon as my food gets here, we're gonna crack it open and I'll show you what we've got. All right, my food is here. I'm hungry and excited, so let's see what's up first. Look, look at how cute these are. These are the bow sliders from Taco Tori. These buns are the softest things I've ever touched. They are perfectly cooked and just a teeny bit sticky. And the teriyaki chicken is really good. It's got that nice combo of a teeny bit of tangy, just a nice bit of sweetness, and it plays really well with the fresh cucumber in there. So that is a win. I have the poke from Kuma Poke, and look at all of those colors, it is absolutely beautiful. I made a good choice here. I got the kusabi sauce, which has a nice little kick to it. That's not overwhelming, but you still get that good wasabi flavor to it. It goes really well with the sushi rice that I opted for, which is again, cooked to perfection. And I got the raw tuna, but you don't have to get raw fish. They have tofu if you're a vegan or vegetarian, and they have cooked chicken, cooked shrimp, And finally, I have the bento box. Look at that. So the Penang curry actually isn't all that spicy like how you picture a traditional curry, but it is nice and creamy. These mashed potatoes. This is the real winner here. This is actually incredible. So when I first thought about cold mashed potatoes, it kind of freaks you out a little bit, but there's something about the flavor here and the smoothness of this that just works so well. That is all I have for you today. Again, I went to Shakudo Kitchen in Perrysburg. It has three different places inside. So I had the pokey, I had the bao, I had the bed. So all three were fantastic. And there's more there too. You can try a bunch of different appetizers like wonton nachos and bubble tea, which I didn't even have time to get to. So I know that's disappointing. But if you need more information on Shakudo Kitchen or the other places that are housed inside there, just head over to our website, wtl.com and click on go for one nine.